Well, Surrey signed the Covenants uh, several years ago, and when we did that, we set up the Surrey Civilian Military Partnership Board to make sure that the commitment that Surrey County Council had made to the people of Surrey and to the armed forces was indeed going to be met. So we have formed a board <clears throat> which uh, meets at least four times a year, has the Lord Lieutenant, the High Sheriff, uh, various people from various partnership agencies, which is really trying to make things happen uh, with the armed forces to ensure that no uh, military personnel or former personnel are in any way uh, barred or inhibited from the services that the County Council and all the authorities have. And we've been very successful in doing that over the last four or five years. Uh, indeed, now we've gone further. We've uh, we formed something called Forces Connect Southeast, which was to is to roll out best practice in Surrey right across the southeast and right across the country. We've been very successful in doing that. If you're wondering what the difference the work of the Surrey Civil and Military Partnership Board has made to the uh, lives of serving soldiers and their families in Surrey, I can tell you it's enormous. It's quite a large serving military community in Surrey, and many of the young men and women who start their careers in the British Army actually do in the county. So to have military-friendly policies in a county such as this is enormously beneficial, not just for them in terms of their future career, but also the lived experience. We have families, we have children, they need to go to school, they need the support just in the same way as every other civilian uh, citizen does. The only trouble is, of course, we live a bit of a strange life, moving around a lot. So coming into a county like Surrey, where they understand our needs and the requirements, is really, really important to us. So we have a full-time dedicated military veterans outreach team uh, which has a number of constituent parts. So we have the after team which very much works with those who are currently serving and are about to transition. Uh, we have an armed forces banking um, scheme that helps support those service leavers and veterans and their families. And we have the veterans uh, platform which um, is a through life support mechanism which aids people who are, either, who are either leaving the forces who are already in the veteran community and try and work with them to aid their transition. Um, we truly believe in it because we've seen the excellent calibre of people that have landed within the bank and also to our vets partners. You know, they bring a diversity of thought, um, they, have, they bring those values and standards that are ingrained into them and they very much align with our Barclays, Barclays values and other corporate business values so that they are really welcomed into the corporate world. They're a place to meet for people who've uh, served in the British Armed Forces, who've got that um, family and that uh, you know that committee, that, that type of uh, family where they've uh, they've had it in the Armed Forces, and when they've come out, they just want to meet again each month, maybe have a bit of banter, have a coffee, have a tea, and just talk to like-minded people who've, who've been in the Armed Forces, British think, Armed Forces. I think that's it. It's that when you come out, you miss that sense of belonging, uh, and if you can go to a drop-in or a hub or somewhere that's unique to your kind of people that also involves families and they're an important part because they identify problems with people before any, any veteran will ask for help so you get a, a bit of pre-advanced warning of someone who's maybe going off the rails but you get somewhere they can go and be themselves you don't have to prove anything and there's no age restriction you can have young veterans who've been in the british army this year and maybe just done the last four years who can come out chatting to veterans who are in their 70s and 80s who've done the same training, except at a different period, done the same training, maybe been on operational tours like them, because, you know, here, here in a rifle fight is no different from a rifle 60, 70 years ago than what it is now in this week. So, you know, you, you, they've got a lot of things in common which we wouldn't see in our civilian counterparts other than the blue light in uniform services who are very much like the armed forces.
So what Surrey's doing is leading by example across the whole of the country in terms of trying to help veterans. They're imaginative. Uh, they're coming up with completely new ideas. They're coming up with new ways that veterans can be supported. They're looking after reservists. What they're doing, I see as some of the most important stuff in the country. And if they can try and spread that around the whole of the country, they'll have made a huge difference.